Good afternoon and thank you, dear Chancellor uh, Olaf, for your kind words. Let, let me thank you for receiving me here. Today, uh, as the largest member state of the European Union, Germany has a particularly important role in shaping our common uh, EU policies and I am confident that this new government under your leadership will continue uh, the constructive and pro-European approach that Germany is known for in Europe. I have had uh, so far also the privilege to talk with President Steinmeier and meet uh, with the Bundestag Vice President Katrin goering eckardt and the Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock earlier today uh, and uh, the topics that you just raised, uh, dear Chancellor, were also chased, uh, raised uh, during uh, all the meetings. The war uh, in Ukraine, or rather Russia's unjustified invasion of Ukraine, has changed everything. Uh, Putin has shattered peace in Europe, something that we would have thought unimaginable a few weeks ago only. Now, as the European Union, uh, we have acted boldly and quickly. We have uh, adopted unprecedented and massive sanctions. Now, this is the right approach, but we can still do more. Uh, Europe must show Putin and his oligarchs that this war will come at the largest cost imaginable. And on this also, uh, let me um, state uh, and reiterate the European Parliament's position and cooperation on also the Conference on the Future of Europe and also in, in moving forward with our ambitious climate targets, our goals, in a very heavy legislatively speaking uh, agenda for the next two and a half years of the European Parliament. Let me today focus on uh, an equally important message, and this is about the already 3.5 million Ukrainians that have been forced to flee uh, their country. This is the largest movement uh, of people we have seen since World War II, mostly women and children who were taken in by communities, ordinary citizens and children who, and who are supported also by local mayors in Poland, in Slovakia, in Romania, in Moldova and in Germany and across our continent, Europeans have opened their homes and their hearts for our fellow Europeans and this is really Europe at its best. It is also time for us to seriously step up our assistance. These are unprecedented times and they need unprecedented responses. I'm sure we will continue to discuss this uh, in our meeting but also in the next few days uh, in your meetings and in our uh, European Council. The Temporary Protection Directive is a good start but we need, need to organise ourselves and make sure that we will be able to handle a situation where people will continue to flee from Putin's indiscriminate shelling. Germany played a key role back in 2015 and the European Union is good at this. So my message also to you is that we can do this and we must do it. So thank you and I look forward to our exchanges.